There's a moon and star. Um, is that part of a fairy lamp? Well, today I decided to stop at Captain's Treasure in Clifton Park, New York. Um, let's get inside and see what we can find to resell. Alright, so every, everything is 50% off. Um, let me see what this is. What is that? <laughs> I was gonna talk it. Is that a beetle? Hmm. There's a lobster. Alright, I already see a haul. Picture. I never saw that color before. This is an older one. It'll only be three dollars. I'm gonna put that in. And what about this teapot? That'll be five dollars. What about this face? I like the glaze. It is newer. Made in Japan. Here's some crackle glass. Um, I don't think it's Blanco or anything. Um, $8. Hand-blown crackle glass. And then you have the cup. Just one cup. Oh, I think I might have to get that for $4. <laughs> I'm gonna buy everything. Alright, I'm just curious what this is. Made in China, it says Paris. Oh, the um, the hotel or casino. Okay, here's more of the Nantucket. Hmm. This vase up here looks kind of funky. Made in China, Diamond Star Corp. And this is a hand blown vase. Um, I don't think it's anything special though. It's very light. Alrighty. Maybe we'll find some Waterford. <laughs> Nothing there. Irish coffee and a wine glass. I like these stars. See if this is Lennox Nantucket. Hmm. Look at the Christmas um, ribbon candy. <laughs> Take a bite. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to light up. Alrighty, any glassy babies? I don't see any. Um, and of course we have to look for the Lucite candles. You never know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone already picked through these. I'm gonna look anyways. Why not? What is this one? From the bottom it looked like a hen of a nest. Okay. I looked. I didn't see any. Looks like an English. Made in England. It'll only be 50 cents. I gotta put that in. <laughs> okay, now the mugs. I'm not seeing any mugs. Let me see if this is Polish. Polish pottery. It's made in China. Hmm. Okie dokie. I do like that though, it's pretty. I like the colors in the, in the middle. A lot of clear glass. This almost looks like the, I can already tell it's not Waterford. 
It looks like water for Lismore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not. What about this one? Oh yeah, look at that. Look how clear it is. Um, I mean, I could do a Google Lens search. There it is. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's the Waterford. Oh my gosh, how much is it? It'll be four dollars. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I looked. Alright, if you found one Waterford, there most likely is another one. There's a moon and star. Um, is that part of a fairy lamp? Hmm. I actually don't think it is. That'd be a dollar fifty for a clear moon and star. I gotta put it in. I can't. <laughs> I can't leave that. This one has a different. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. <laughs> this one is different. Don't, not seeing anything. Oh! Wait, what about this weird one right here? It almost looks like Fastoria heirloom. It's cracked. Darn it. Hi, here's a mid century modern lamp. It's not wood, it's plastic. Um, I want a pair of those though, and I want it to be wood. So I'll look through the dishes. I didn't see any more water for it. I looked around a little more. Hey, there's some pottery though. Um, what does that say? I don't know, I can't read it. Well, that one I definitely can't read. And 1983, how much is that? 14, it'll be half off. I see another tin. Let's see if it's made in England. That is made by Gift Co. I do like the bird. I'm gonna leave that. Let me see about these dishes. They look like they're hand painted. Teresa, hand painted, made in China. Usually when I see that, it says made in Japan. But of course, that's more of the orange 1970 flower. These are nice with a poinsettia. Mary Bright. <laughs> it's a coffee. That's made in Japan. Here's a cocktail shaker. It looks like it could be Hazel Atlas. Um, actually, Anchor Hawking. I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna have some fun tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go around the corner. Ah, that's just sport items. Not too interested in that. Um, sometimes they have some hidden gems in here. Look like they're old. I wonder if they're antique. Or are they just stained? <laughs> um, they're only a dollar. So I think I'm gonna get those. Yeah, especially if I, if I feel like they're antique. Um, the doily. I'm gonna say no to that. There's some uh, on the rock glasses. Um, they're definitely mid-century. I just see a lot of wear on all three of these. This one is okay, but I want a set of four. Maybe there's something in the Halloween. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Lady Lane, 2005. Like that. Oh, these are glass. Glass pumpkins. 
Michael's wine glass. He left his hand behind. <laughs> Alright, so my total spend there was $16. I also picked up two owl brooches. Um, this one is kind of cool. It has the yellow rhinestone and then the pearl eyes. And then this owl brooch, it has red rhinestone eyes and it is marked. Um, let me see. I didn't even see what it was marked. Ah, I'll let you know up here. And the green crackled glass pitcher I had to put back. It was cracked near the handle and there was chipping. But I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine with everything that I got. I'm gonna start down here where I always start. <laughs> Look at this pumpkin. Ooh, it's a bobblehead. I love it. <laughs> it's so weird. I accidentally left this here last time. I'm gonna get it this time. Put your little cutie right in here. All right, ow. All the Christmas. Wolf Hill woodworking. Where's that from? Oh, Voorsville, New York. Yeah. $2 each. Oh, look at the Coca Cola. I mean, the Campbell suit. For $2. I like that one. I think I'm going to get this one. It's different. It's a vintage Christmas tree stand. <laughs> I think we pretty, I'm pretty sure we have the same one. It's $2.99. Hey, here's the Tupperware. One, two, three, four, five. I believe there's supposed to be six of them. I think I'm gonna get it this time for two dollars. I think I have to get them. Wait, I can't remember if there's six or five. I feel like there's six. Look at this picture. Oh, it's plastic. Darn it. <laughs> I was like, I'm totally gonna get that. It even comes with a spoon. Nope. What about this praying hand? It's a praying hand trinket for two dollars. <laughs> um, I wonder if there is a mark under here. Yes, I'm peeling the sticker back. I don't see one. I was just seeing if it was Fenton or something like that. All right, so I am on the search for some pottery mugs, some interesting pottery mugs, because I'm having a pottery sale on whatnot, August 4th. Um, I already have some stuff listed. I have some Rinconadas. Um, I have about nine of them I have to list. So you could go on there and pretty bid if you want. Um, it's definitely a case collection. A Libby. What about this? If it's um, Capitamonte or Ansley? Oh, Royal Albert. I was totally off. Um, let me see if there's any missing leaves. I don't see any. I'm a little chip there. Like 80% of the time they're always damaged. <laughs> All right, I gotta leave it. It's $6. It's the red section. Oh, here's a Starbucks cappuccino. 2021. Oh, wow, that's heavy. I wonder if that's chalkware. All right, I'm gonna tap it. I can't tell. How much is that? $5. Um, let me put that in and I'll do a little more research. I see some yellow depression glass. Um, let's see about the price. $2.99 for a bowl. Mm. $2.99 then $3.99 for the dishes and they're all mismatched. I can't do that. Whoops. It's a little bit too much for a resale. Not bad for yourself, though. How about this ashtray? $3.99. It feels like crystal. This down here is a little bit more modern. I like the um, swirls on it. Hmm. It's 
some stuff they haven't put out yet. Um, I'm gonna look. Over here I see a frame. Ooh, it's a mirror frame. Um, six dollars. A lot of times they're marked. I don't see one. I don't know about six dollars for that. I hope I'm not being too cheap today. <laughs> like Mikasa. Right, I'm pretty sure that's a clown under here. Yep, it's paper mache clown <laughs> for $2.99. So I was just looking at the zigzag crochet afghan. Um, it does have some, a lot of little fuzzies on it. So I could be picking this for hours. It's seven dollars. I'm just unsure about it. I wanted to try something like this in our booth, but I feel like seven dollars is too much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> this probably sat um, on the back of someone's couch for years. It has that feel to it. All right, I'm walking away. All right, so I'm putting this back. It's chipped, and there's supposed to be a set of four to go with it. Um, they sell for about ten dollars each. Then this, I just realized, is broken. I wonder if it was broken the last time I was here. All right, I'm gonna put that back. Ooh, look at what I see over here. <laughs> Treasure craft cookies with an apple for ten dollars. Let me see. Treasure craft. Let's see if there's any damage. I don't feel any. All right, I had to put back the treasure craft cookies. The cookie canister, it only sells, I looked up sold comps on eBay, it only sells between like 20 to $30. So I can't spend 10 on that. Maybe if it was um, about four or $5, I would. Ah, it was a chia pet. <laughs> Made in China hippo. Oh gosh. I totally want the Golden Girls version. I think it's a Betty White. Um, let's look in the metal because I'm not seeing anything else. I'll look at the rabbit. Oh my gosh, that's cute. These are cute down here. Um, they're ceramic. Be careful, it looks like... It looks like it's broken. $2.99, look how cute the fox is. <sighs> I love it. 1985. Oh, look at the old photo frame. $2.49. I think that's just a picture that came with it. Um, two forty nine for that. All right, I'll put that in. A little bit of wear on the bottom there, but it's only two forty nine. Um, have a cow. Another mirror. What about these down here? Oh, artware. Oh, the Ardalt. Um, three dollars each. I feel like our doll made it everything. <laughs> um, two ninety nine. That looks like an Asian, yeah, Asian style. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna head out. This is everything I'm getting. Um,